Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm bringing to you guys my first Let's Play of Stardew Valley. Now, I have loved this game pretty much ever since that it came out, and I thought it would be fun to share it with you all. And this is basically just how I play a day when I play Stardew. So every time that you play a day in this game, you start out in your house. Uh, the first thing that I do is I check my TV and my calendar just to check on the upcoming weather and just upcoming events during that season. You have to buy a calendar for your house, but it's not that expensive. Um, I think it's more vital because it's just right there at your house, at your farm base. So that's the reason why I brought it. Um, into my place but the first thing that I do after I exit my house is I check all my animals um, I say hi to them make sure that, that the little heart sign pops up when I talk to them and um, I make sure that their byproducts that they produce is done first because I have realized that it does take a few hours and whatnot so I make sure I check on my animals first just to get that part of the day done so I'm just making sure that I say hi to all my animals, including my cat. You can get either a cat or a dog in the game. So I chose a cat because <laughs> I have three cats. Um, you know, <laughs> I would love a dog in my real life, but it's not realistic in my living situation right now. But here I am harvesting my... Uh, all my crops that are available that day that's what i typically do right after um i take care of my animals i check my crops and as you can see i have a lot of fucking crops and right now i'm harvesting all my corn i have three eight by eight uh in a row <laughs> and yes it does take a while as you guys can see it's sped up and it's still taking a long ass while <laughs> Oh yeah, god, okay, so the strain that I'm smoking on, as you guys see on the screen, I am smoking Lemon Kush right now. This strain has been really amazing, I've been liking it real, uh, I've been really liking it so far. And yeah, I really, uh, been really liking it, so, uh, I know some of you have been asking me about the strains I've been smoking, and I thought that was a great idea. I will try to keep it a point to to name the strains that I'm smoking because I know I'm not great at that and I will try to make it a point. So after I uh, get all my crops that are harvestable at the point, I just kind of just sell all the things basically that I need to to make to make room in my inventory. So that's what I'm doing. I'm placing the corn um, in my chest because I'm going to make oil from that, regular, regular oil from that. So what I'm doing. Since it's Sunday, what I like to do is um, basically every time I'm done with my farm, I go south and I go into the forest and uh, on Fridays and Sundays, I, I, like to, uh, I like to look at the traveling cart that is available and I like to look to see what she has for sale. Sometimes she has really good deals for stuff, sometimes she doesn't. I really like her... Um, she has deals on rare seeds, and that's what I usually typically typically get from her, so yeah. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm in the hidden forest of the area. I'm collecting some hardwood because I'm in the process of building some more oil makers, and they require, I believe, I believe they require 50 hardwood, so. I mean, I have enough, but I mean, I'm trying to compensate for the amount that I'm giving, <laughs> if you will, blah blah blah, oh my god, my cat's like, trying to, okay, ruin this whole segment, <laughs> so right now, I'm just checking all of my, um, my crab pots scattered throughout the town, and I'm also, I also make it a point to check every single trash can in the town of Stardew Valley, because, um, you can find really valuable food items or just, like, things that you might want 
and you can get it for free by just checking in the trash cans. I make it a point to not <laughs> check it by people, uh, the civilians of Stardew Valley, because they will get upset if they catch you checking the trash cans, so there's that. And I'm also just giving um, gifts to this guy named Sam. He's a He's an available bachelor for the game, but I'm not exactly going for him. I just give him gifts because I like his personality and I think he's cool. And uh, yeah, you really get to know the characters if you give them gifts and just kind of get to know them. So that's what I've been trying to do. Right now, I, I check both uh, stores in the Stardew Valley area. Because one, I buy seeds every time that um, a non-crop uh, non or a crop that I've harvested doesn't have available or it doesn't continue growing after I harvested it. Um, I buy crops after that and I'm also looking for flooring and wallpaper for my house. So I check both of the stores to make sure that, uh, to make sure that I am. Um, um, have the chance of getting something awesome. <laughs> so right now I am just going to buy uh, a cork basically for my fishing rod that will help me get more treasures as I'm fishing and I'm putting more bait into my fishing, fishing rod. I have a quest right now that is requiring me to get five anchovies and I think I only happen to get two but I mean that's okay. <laughs> but yeah this is me just fishing. <laughs> It's so weird that you can see them breathing, or like they have breathing patterns. <laughs> I just realized that having it like looking over this and it's sped up and you can actually see them breathing and whatnot. That's really interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so right now I believe I am just circling around, making sure that I have everything. I have a full ass inventory, so I'm making my way back to my farm to ship all the um, unusable things that I really need and just making sure that I have enough room in my, in my inventory. <clears throat> and I'm just I'm just pushing up all the uh, things that I need to use at this moment after I cleared out space and whatnot. Putting the wallpaper on my wall. I am putting the trash in the recycling bin or whatever. And then I'm going to be plant planting my artichoke plants. So that is what I'm doing. so interesting watching like how I play this game because I'm always just anticipating my next move like what am I doing like blah 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 you know what I mean so I'm just um making sure that I put all the stuff that I don't need in the shipping bin and putting all the stuff that needs to be put really need to be put right there um, that's basically what I'm doing, uh, I keep, I keep realizing that I'm saying a lot of weird stuff, so, <laughs> I apologize. I figured that I need to start keeping, like, bits and pieces of wine. Well, I don't need to, but I feel like I want to, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I got some maple syrup on the way to the mines. I got some diamonds ready. That's cool. And I always talk to this little dude. Um, what you do to unlock him is you put a cherry bomb right where I entered into that little area of him. Oh, my cat just hurt me so bad. And then she tried to make me feel bad about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm in the mines right now. I'm just kind of searching for, I believe, iron and coal. Specifically, I am on the search for coal always because sometimes it's hard to come by. 
but thankfully I got a lot of aquamarines. Oh, dude, I remember now. I was searching for slimes this whole entire time, blah, 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 and I hit the jackpot hitting all these, so this was great. <laughs> you see me, like, kicking their ass and also getting my ass beaten by them, so <laughs> that's cool. Oh my god, dude, my cat stuck me right in my thigh, and it's hurting so bad. <sighs> but it's cool. I mean, she's all acting like it's cool and whatnot. Like, she's like, I hurt you really bad, but I mean, I need that love. <sighs> okay, so what I'm doing right now is just selling all the unusable items that I need, just things to get off my inventory, because I obviously need that space. 30... 30 open slots for your inventory is really not enough. You will learn that early on in the game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah. You see up in the upper left corner that I have jams ready. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing next. I can't remember. But basically what I've been using is my strawberries. And I'm going to be using my blackberries from fall. From the fall bushes to compensate for the amount of preserved jars that I have. Typically, I would use my keg, my keg um, machines, well, my keg, my little keg things to produce all my work because they sell for more rather than the preserved jars. But um, I have more preserves than I do kegs, so. I have to compensate for that. Maybe I will um, take them down and just start using my kegs as I grow more of them. But as of right now, I have been using my preserves to make as much money as possible. Typically, right now, I have over 20 preserves. Preserve, uh machines. I don't really know what to call them. Preserve jars. If I call them jars, I think about the actual jars that they're put in when they're done. <laughs> but I don't know what else to call them, so I'll just call them preserve machines. As you can see, I'm um, thinking about uh, planting some... Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, I'm putting some of my torches down, apparently. Uh, it's been really dark on this side of the farm. Sorry, I was burping. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah, I've been putting some torches down to make, to make more light. <laughs> and yeah, literally, I'm just going through this whole process as you guys are. I think I am just looking for more slime specifically and just... Uh, going through the lower, like, first few mines available, and just looking through the area, basically. See a lot of chests and whatnot. I didn't get much from it, but I did get an amethyst, which is cool. As you can see, sometimes it does take a while for me to find the fucking, <laughs> the fucking ladders, <laughs> it takes me a while sometimes, but I eventually do give up because it is getting late, and then I spread some of the torches that I did find around, so that was cool. I didn't really find anything usable for me to sell, so I put the stuff respectively in their own chests and whatnot, and then I go to bed. That is a typical day for me in Stardew Valley. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I know that I have been struggling kind of with the whole talky talky thing of this thing, but it's only because this is new to me. Um, I'm sure as I grow within this, I will show, <laughs> I will not be camera shy at all. So bear with me. I hope to see you guys watching my video soon and I will catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Peace. <laughs> Bye.